We're back here again, my creative and curious friends, for the fourth part of the tutorial on the digitization of the fashion sketch. In this episode, we'll talk about path fills. Particularly, we'll talk about the linear and radial gradient fill, and address the appearance attribute as well. Great, we've finished drawing the hair now. For the purpose of filling the hair shape path, we'll unlock and select the out layer. Now we choose the desired color between the uniform or gradient one. We can choose the uniform color from the corresponding color picker tab. By double clicking on the path fill, we can set the color we want. Conversely, we can set the gradient one from the gradient panel or by using the gradient tool from the vertical toolbar. We are now in the gradient pane. By double clicking, we activate the color picker tab and if we drag it on the gradient bar, we can position it according to the effect we want to see. In order to get other gradient points, all we have to do is choose the color and position various change points on the gradient bar. If you want to remove an excessive gradient point, you can do it by simply using the Recycle Bin icon on the selected element. The direction of the gradient can be adjusted from its tab in the Type Parameter, which can either be linear or radial. I'm choosing the linear parameter with shades of red, yellow, white, so as to recall my fabric with the animalier print. Also, I'm going to set the angle of the gradient. In my case, it's 42 degrees. The gradient tool and the panel are similar. However, there are some activities that it is possible to perform either through the tool or the panel only. By activating the gradient tool and panel, multiple color stops can be specified, along with their position and diffusion. We'll also activate the view of the gradient annotator bar in order to be able to make changes directly on the drawing area. Let's open the View tab from the main menu bar, View Gradient Annotator Item. The annotator bar can be rotated if we position the cursor on the endpoint. We can reposition its origin by dragging the circular arrow end starting point of the gradient cursor. Conversely, by dragging the arrow-shaped end and point, it's possible to increase or decrease its range. And in conclusion, we'll remove the path color of hair shape so as to obtain a more pleasing appearance. Let's add the radial gradient type now, this way we can choose its best effect. To use this type of gradient as an alternative in the view mode, we set the new attributes in the appearance panel of the out sublayer of the hair layer. We set the sublayer of interest to us as destination in the layers panel. To view and adjust the appearance attributes for the layer and add the other ones, we open the appearance panel from the window tab of the main menu bar. The appearance panel allows you to work with appearance attributes and shows fills, paths, graphic styles and effects applied to an object, group or layer in the order in which they are applied to the drawing. Appearance attributes are properties that alter the appearance of an object but not its basic structure. So when they are deleted or edited later on, the underlying object or any other attributes applied to the object will not be changed. The out layer attributes have a content subfolder. 
and if you click on it, it shows you the attributes of the path that is included in the layer. In order to assign the appearance attributes to the entire out layer, let's move them simply by dragging the attribute icon on the layer. Conversely, if we want to copy the appearance attributes on any other element or layer, we can drag the icon of destination to the desired point while holding down the Alt key. Now, to set the other type of gradient, we duplicate the existing one by dragging the attribute to be duplicated on the Duplicate icon in the Appearance panel. A plus symbol will appear or we can simply click on the Duplicate button. Then, let's change the gradient type of the new attribute that we copied. We temporarily hide the attribute of the linear gradient by clicking on the Visibility icon in the Appearance panel. If we want to remove a specific attribute instead, we can select it in the Appearance panel and click on the Clear button. If we activate the Gradient tool and panel, and display the annotator bar, we can set the parameters for the radial gradient. Let's also change the profile of the strokes of the paths in the Dead sublayer. At this point, we select the Dead sublayer. In the Appearance panel, let's double click on a Contents item. Let's assign a profile to the strokes. I chose a profile of width 1 and change the color to a gray shade. By dragging the entire hair layer into the Unlocked Figure layer, we get the complete sketch for our drawing of the fashion sketch to be made. Well, my friends, we've concluded the fourth part of my tutorial. In the next video, we'll explore the use of the pen tool in the digitization phase of the outfit of our fashion sketch. Then, we'll create some closed paths and we'll learn how to edit them.
Remember to like my video, let me know your thoughts in the comment section, and activate the notification bell so as not to miss my next videos. Visit and follow if you like my profile on Instagram. Bye! See you next time!